Hello gamers, Mage Hammer here for another edition of tonight on Mage Hammer's Game Table, where tonight I'm continuing my series of my Four Dice Cthulhu solo game that I designed, uh, showing it off to show everybody what it looks like and how it plays. Uh, and particularly, I have not yet been able to get a character, an investigator, to survive <laughs> Uh, the Elder God, Encounter the Elder God, which I know is probably par for the course when you're talking about a Cthulhu game, so that's probably a good thing, but I, I, I'm determined to have it happen. But this is my last try on camera, so I'm going to try to have at least one investigator survive. Uh, and, and then if that doesn't happen, I'll try again, but I'm not going to do more than two investigation you know, games on camera. So, but before we get into that, I'd like to thank a huge thank you to all the people that have downloaded this game from itch.io. The link will be in the description. It's a pay what you want. And for those of you that have uh, downloaded for free, yay, excellent, thank you. Spread the word, uh, let everybody know about this game if you enjoy it. Uh, those of you that managed to, uh, that, that paid, paid a little bit, and gave me a little bit of money, thank you, that supports this channel. I can basically use that money to buy more dice, to buy more cards, just buy more accessories uh, so I can design more games and also to buy more games so I can play those on the channel. So thank you so much for all your support. I've been overwhelmed. It's been very exciting the past couple of days. So thank you so much. Uh, but if you're interested in downloading these rules, if you stumbled upon this video, this is the first time uh, seeing this, video, this game uh, and you haven't seen any of my other videos, the link will be in the description below. Go ahead, download, check it out. Like I said, it's a pay what you want. If you'd like to throw some money this way, support the channel, yay. If you'd like to download it for free and just play it, awesome. My friend Chris has been playing my five, uh, Four Dice Fantasy game, which also is for free um, on, under one of my video descriptions. Uh, I'm eventually going to put that on itch.io for a free download as well. Uh, but he's been playing it on camera. That's been a huge thrill. I really enjoy watching um people play my games it's just really exciting so shout out to Chris um, and uh, I believe um, Valiant Endeavor uh, he he also played four dice fantasy so I think I mentioned him in my videos before but watching him play my game uh, just it's just great so thank you so much for all that but now uh, I'm gonna try to get these investigators to survive darn it <laughs> so here we go um, uh, if you don't know how to, I'm not gonna necessarily go over how the games played uh, like I said, download the rules, check it out for yourself. And if you ever have any questions about any of that, hopefully this video will answer. So here we go. I have shuffled my cards and I'm now going to lay out four random investigators. So we have the detective, the doctor, the sorcerer, and the criminal. Okay, so pretty good utility here. The doctor is pretty much good in any phase. The sorcerer is good in combat. The criminal is good in either combat or investigation. And the detective is good for investigation or combat as well. So that's good. Uh, these cards are not updated. I updated the cards. I printed them out, but I didn't have time to cut them out and put, put them into the sleeves. But essentially, they work the same way. It's just I changed the wording. I didn't really, I didn't change the powers. I just changed the wording on them to make it cl more clear for when I uploaded the game. So um, uh, if you see that these are different than what you're familiar with, that's why. Uh, in future videos, I will have those updated. Okay, I just don't want to take the time now. So I got to find some dice. So the detective. Um, oh, by the way, also uh, upon suggestion uh, from one of my viewers, my those really cool Cthulhu dice I have for the Elder Horror, Elder Horror games, and uh, are not. They don't show up great on camera, so I have decided to go back to my extensive collection of awesome d6s and i'm going to use those because i think they show up better on camera so for the sorcerer we're going to use these cool purple dice um then for the criminal she's going to use well i don't know it looks criminal hides in the shadows we'll do this kind of thing here sure and then for the doctor we'll give him bone dice you know because the doctors used to be called bone saws in the 1800s this is 19 this game technically takes place in the 1920s but so he's he's a bone saw so he'll have bone colored dice and the detective 
I like these dice. I like detectives. So I'm going to give him those cool dice. All right. So those are the dice that are going to represent the investigators as they go out upon their investigations. Um, let's see where the clues are hidden. Wow. Look at that roll. Uh, if I roll our ability scores for uh, D and D, that'd be crazy. Okay. So here we go. So now they're investigating and not too bad. The detective is going to make one of these sixes re-roll and rolls a six. Of course, that's my classic sorcerer doesn't affect this at all. The criminal herself can re-roll. So yes, she's going to re-roll once per that's wow all the same die number again all right so a five defeats a five and doubles defeats another of any kind so there's two there they have to make a sanity roll and the doctor i could just use his ability i suppose no i'm gonna yeah yeah i'm just gonna use his ability Oh, nope. So he is currently incapacitated for the next investigation roll. All right, so we got doubles. So that takes out one of them, but there's still one left. So they have to make a temporary insanity check. And the detective is now out for a round. And the doctor is back in. And the sorcerer finally finds the final clue. Of course, there's doubles, so maybe they found it simultaneously. Okay, the detective comes back to his wits. Reset the criminal. And now each person could either get a mythos token or an artifact. And none of them get an artifact, so they get mythos knowledge tokens. And those can eventually, in between investigations, if they actually survive, these can be used to, oh, by the way, twice we add two impending doom tokens. Almost forgot about that. It's one of the spicier type uh, parts of this game. All right, so they're moving on to their second investigation. And they are going to go search out their clues. And we've got a... Hmm. Okay, so the detective is going to make one of these fours re-roll. And I roll a four again. Wow, that is just... I just think that's... I don't want to re-roll the criminal yet because she is actually discovering one of the clues. So, wow. Okay, so a four discovers this clue. A two discovers this clue. And that's it. So, we add an impending doom token. And we must make a sanity check. And the doctor and the detective fail. All right, well, the doctor's going to check himself. He's fine, but we lose the detective for this next investigation roll. And we got a three and double, so that finds the last two clues. So they don't have to make a sanity roll. The detective is put back into place. Let's see if they find an artifact or if they find Mythos Knowledge Tokens. Look, the detective found an artifact and it is a mystic shield. Okay, and the rest of them get Mythos Knowledge Tokens. Okay. Cool, all right. And now they're in the third phase of the investigation. Let's see where the clues are hidden. Okay, and now here they go, investigating. Okay, so doubles. We're gonna keep, the detective is gonna make one of these clues re-roll. All right, it's not great, but okay. And the criminal's gonna hang on to her roll. Well, you know what? No. Well, I guess it's, this is as long as it is short. I could roll. Yeah, you know what? She's going to roll again. I might be able to roll doubles or something. Yeah, I did. There you go. All right. So, yeah, that works out really well. So, six finds a six. Four finds a four. Four finds a four. Doubles finds the last one. Yeah. 
Excellent. So they found them. Now let's see if they found uh, knowledge or artifacts. And ooh, looks like the criminal has found an artifact. And it is a elder sign. I get to use my cool new elder sign tokens I got. So excited. Um, so the elder sign token can be used to reroll any roll uh, except sanity rolls because the bearer of a elder sign does not have to roll sanity rolls. They are protected from the maddening, um, the maddening effects of the mythos. Now, the rest of them get a knowledge token, which if they survive, these tokens can be used to purchase more artifacts going forward. All right, now they move into their first round of combat. The monsters of the mythos have descended upon them. We have three impending doom tokens, and we make it with four monsters plus the impending doom tokens. So we are looking at seven monsters that the, the heroes have now encountered in their investigation. So... Now these are combat rolls, and the sorcerer's ability comes into play now. All right, so. So there's no sixes on the board, so the detective is gonna make one of these fives re-roll, and it's a four, doesn't really help. And the criminal, yeah, criminal's already getting rid of one, so we'll leave her ability up in case we need it. So three defeats a three, Two defeats a two. Six doesn't defeat anything. Five defeats a five. So they must now make a save roll and then a sanity roll because they are fighting on. Oh, the sorcerer could turn one. Yeah, so we'll have the sorcerer turn one to whatever that die was and also defeat it. So that's a little better. They still have to make a save roll. Ooh, the criminal is failing that save roll. So she could use the Elder Sign token this turn, but we're gonna use the Doctor's ability first. And so she is no longer dying, the Doctor saves her. Now they must make a Sanity roll. And the Doctor himself will be out of the next combat roll. Speaking of which, three defeats a three, two defeats a two. And I'm not gonna have the criminal reroll because she's defeating something. Maybe she could have gone doubles. No. Oh well, I'm just gonna keep it that way. All right. So now they have to make a save roll, and they have to make a sanity roll. All right. They are good. We bring the doctor back into play here. I think we used him right to save her. Yeah. All right. So there's one monster remaining, and they have defeated it. Okay, so they each get a chance at an artifact that these Mythos monsters may have been carrying. The Doctor finds one. And let's see what kind it is. It is another Elder Sign token. Oh, I forgot, she doesn't have to make Sanity rolls. Yeah, nor does the Doctor now. That is pretty good. I don't wanna get too excited. We know how hard this game is. <laughs> Those of you that have watched my other videos. All right, so here we go. All right. So now they're moving into their second combat phase. And we have to do seven. Yeah, seven dice. We'll see how this goes. Even after the sanity token is used, by the way, they still, as the bearer of a san, uh, elder sign does not have to make sanity rolls. All right. So. Sorcerer can change one to whatever they want. So right now that six is not defeating anybody from the detective. We do have doubles, that's nice. Criminal's gonna keep her roll. We're gonna have the detective re-roll one of them. And the sorcerer we're gonna have turn to a six. And now we're going to apply the results. Six defeats a six. Two defeats a two, doubles will defeat a three, and a four will defeat a four. So they have three left, they have to make a save roll. And they're all good. And then the uh, criminal and doctor do not have to make this sanity roll. So they're all good. So we go back out of combat roll. 
trying to take out the monsters of the mythos. So, Kermel's going to keep her roll. So, five defeats, a, or three defeats a three, five defeats a five, one defeats a one. Yes, they defeated that second round of monsters. Now, they come upon a group of cultists in their investigations that are attempting to open a gateway to another world, and it is partially open, and some tentacles are flapping out of it. There are five cultists and one elder god coming through a portal. So here we go. Now they have to make one save if they don't eliminate all these cultists and two saves because the elder god and a sanity test. So they're pretty well set up. Wait, oh wait, I forgot to see if they, you know, no, did I roll to see? No, I don't, I don't think I rolled to see if they, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I didn't roll to see if they got Nobody else got an artifact, but they did get Mythos Knowledge Tokens. Yeah. Okay, so the cultists have been rolled. The Elder God is poking its tentacles through the gate. And let's see what the they can do. So the Sorcerer can turn one of those cultists whatever he wants. So he's going to turn one of them to a four. The criminal can re-roll her roll, but she's defeating one right now, and I would have to attempt to get doubles. The detective can make one re-roll. Are they all defeating one? No. It's going to try to make this one re-roll maybe become a five. Nope. All right, so now they're going to apply their abilities. Five's not doing anything. Three defeats a three. Six defeats a six. Four defeats a four. All right, so now they have to make two save, three save tests. All right, one, two. So the sorcerer is failing that save test and the doctor can force him to re-roll. And he is fine. Three save tests. Good, now they make a sanity test, but the doctor and the criminal do not have to because of their elder signs. All right, they are all safe. Back into combat, trying to defeat the cultists. Six and two, defeat the cultist. Now they have to make only two sanity, or two save checks and one sanity save. Two save checks, one, two. They did not get whapped by tentacles. Now they have to make a, um, sanity check. Okay, good. Now we're gonna reset. And I suppose, they're gonna, uh, they're going after the elder. This phase isn't completely done, so they don't get to check again, but I am allowing them to reset their powers. All right, here we go. So they need to roll a six or doubles. All right, so they rolled a six and doubles, but the rule is, no matter how many successes you get, you can only turn it down one per combat roll. All right, now they have to make two saves. One, two, and they must make a sanity test. This sanity test is extra deadly. If they fail this sanity test, they actually are removed from the game because they are irreparably harmed in the mind. So, this is an important roll. They're good. Combat roll. Good, they got a five. Bring it down. Okay, two saves and a sanity. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. So the criminal is failing that save. The doctor is going to allow her to re roll her, and the doctor saves her. Good. Okay. Is that the second one? Yes. Now the sanity test. All right, good. Now we go back into combat. And they got a four, bringing it down to three. Nice. They have to make two save rolls. One, okay, once again, the criminal's in trouble. So she's gonna use her elder sign to re-roll that. Good. And two. All right, still alive, everybody. Now they have to make a sanity test. Ooh, 
The sorcerer has failed his sanity test. The doctor cannot allow him to re-roll it. He does not possess an artifact of his own. Thus, he is driven insane and removed from the game. His mythos tokens will be distributed amongst the other play any players who survive, any characters who survive. Sanity test only, or that was the sanity test. Okay, now we're going back into combat. Okay, so we did not get a three, nor did we get doubles. And the detective forces clues or um, cultists or monsters to reroll, but not the elder god. But he could use that to reroll his own roll to see if they could get it in there, but he's gonna save that. So, two save rolls, one save roll, the doctor is taking that. So he's gonna use his elder sign token and he is survives, second save, sanity test. Go. Okay. Back into combat against the Elder God. <sighs> she is going to use her ability to re roll. Oh, no. No doubles, no nothing. All right. Two saves. Uh oh. He's got to use that to re roll. He's got to use his Mystic Shield token to re roll. And he's fine. Second save, sanity test. Check, roll, okay. Combat, there, no, gosh dang it. No matcher, no double. So two saves. And sanity, so far so good. Combat, nothing, gosh dang it, come on. Two saves. Good. Sanity. He's good. Combat. Nothing. Jeez, oh man. First save. <gasps> that's not great. Oh, that's not great at all. I don't think there's anything I can do. There's nothing I can do. So this is this Elder Sign's already spent. The detective dies. And the criminal dies. And the doctor at least doesn't make sanity tests. So combat, nothing. Save, save, combat, <laughs> save, save, combat. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Down to this again. Can't believe it. I, I, I don't think it should happen like this every time. Uh, uh, save, save, uh, combat, yes. All right, save. Save! <laughs> combat. Oh, save. Save. Combat. Save. Save. Combat. Save. Save. Combat. Oh, that was so close. That was going to be a one. Save. Save. Combat. <laughs> save. Save. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, the opposite side, the opposite side. Uh, save, save, combat, <sighs> save, save, combat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Save, save, combat. Oh, save, save. All right, we're going to roll the other die now, <laughs> just for the heck of it. Combat. Oh, no. Save. Say, oh, there it is. So close, so close, so close. <sighs> All right, this video is going a little long. I'd like to keep these four dice games to close to a half hour. Um, so I guess the next video, I did say I'm gonna give myself two more games on camera to try to get a survivor at the end. Um, so I just, I don't believe it, man. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's hilarious. All right. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is, is that that's it for this video. <laughs> so thank you for, thank you for following along with me and, uh, the excitement there. Uh, at least I was, I had fun. Um, and well, let me know what you think. Let me know what your experiences with the game have been. Uh, come back for me next video. I'm going to try 
to sur get a survivor, but that's my last try. Like I said, two more tries. This is my last try. Um, and uh, maybe I'll have the cards updated by that time as well. And so, well, thanks again for watching. Thank you for so much for all your support. Until next time, keep on rolling dice and playing games. Mage Hammer out.